Welcome to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education work session for November the 17th. Can we stand for the pledge? I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please. Yes, I do. Thank you. And today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Pursuant to the General's Provisions Article 3-305, and 3-104, the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County will meet in a close, met in a closed session to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom this public body has jurisdiction, any other personnel matter that affects one or more individuals, and to consult with counsel to obtain legal advice. Thank you. Uh, next, we have uh, also I'd like to announce that Dr. Sprankel will be uh, assisting us as secretary to the board this evening. Um, Dr. Salen is also like a recognized, is not here this evening, but is the state superintendent of the year. So, uh, that was a good uh, approval agenda. Mr. Mayor, uh, Smith, may I make a motion to amend the agenda to add 3.02, a proclamation for apprenticeship week? Second. Move second. All those who say aye. 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 Ayes have it. Thank you. Mr. Smith, may I make a motion to accept the amended agenda? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, 3-01, American Education Week. Okay, Dr. Kibler will be assisting me. Thank you, Dr. Kibler. This week is American Education Week, and on behalf of of the Queen Anne's County Board of Education. We honor and celebrate our educators, paraprofessionals, secretaries, media specialists, computer technicians, specialists, teacher specialists, facilitators, substitute teachers, reading specialists, math specialists, coordinators, counselors, specialists, nurses, cafeteria workers, assistants, social workers, psychologists, speech therapists, pupil personnel workers, principals, assistant principals, academic deans, interpreters, maintenance workers, distrib distributive services, bus drivers, custodians, supervisors, and other school and central office staff who make such a difference in our students' lives. In addition, Queen Anne's County Public Schools is so fortunate to have collaborative and support their partnerships to assist with ensuring all students will graduate with the skills necessary to pursue their professional pathway and be empathetic can be contributors to society. On behalf of Maryland's Superintendent of the Year, <laughs> our very own Dr. Patty Salins, um, she will be actually tomorrow, our staff will be receiving a sweet treat, every single staff member. And so you should see those wonderful cupcakes that are all, that have all been counted out and divided and they'll be delivered tomorrow so that our staff can remain sweet. So we're excited about that. So thank you so much, Dr. Salins. All right. Nice. Good job. And also, I think we just received today a uh, proclamation for CTE information. Absolutely. Hot off the press, President Smith. <clears throat> Here is the proclamation. Got to share that. This week is also National Apprenticeship Week. Today, during lunch, Dr. Salins, along with Adam Tolley, who is the supervisor for CTE, were presented with the proclamation for National Apprenticeship Week by the Department of Labor for Queen Anne's County Public Schools having the most apprenticeships programs on the Eastern Shore and our school systems. How about that? Nice. Nice. Wow. A celebratory moment for sure. Yeah. So congratulations, I would say, Mr. Tolly, and especially Dr. Salins under her leadership. So we're excited about that. And to the students. Yes. 
Absolutely. All of our students. I bless them. That's right. Absolutely. And so I know we're that, proud. And I know this board's been very supportive of CTE. It's something that's uh, a very important to this board that's uh, put some effort into it and to make sure that our students are well-rounded, but that that's a, another career path that these students can do during the school year and have a career and also a trade that they understand when they get out of school. I, I really appreciate that. Also, I think the board, all of us have been supportive of that. Okay, information items. Action items, approval or first amendment to the superintendent's contract. I have a motion? Uh, Mr. Smith, I move to accept the uh, superintendent's contract as amended. Can I have a second? Second. Second. Aye. Motion and second. All those favor say aye. A question, sir. Uh, Jane was supposed to present something, or we just vote. We're just voting. Just vote. Just fantastic. Vote. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now next is our transfer request. Our first one is Mrs. Pouch. I thought I was next. I got up. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> that's why I was. That's why I asked. Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, good evening, Dr. Sprankel, President Smith, board members, executive team. My name is Jane Tower, CFO. Tonight we bring before you three budget amendments. We split them into three different ones. The first one being um, a request for to fold in two social workers from ESSER 3 and two guidance counselors from ESSER 3 into the budget, along with reclassifying those teacher specialists to assistant principal roles, and then an assistant principal at Queen Anne's County High School, as well as a school safety officer. There is no fiscal impact to the budget. There is reclassifying mostly from uh, savings from or how should I say it, um, reclassification of positions that currently had existed. So under this current thing, there'll be no additional cost, uh, no the cost, it's just re recategorizing different positions and change. Correct, um, based upon the needs of the district. So in, in total, we've been able to fold into the FY23 budget nine and a half positions from was, uh, grant funds. That was for one in three for the um, unrestricted budget. That's taking from our reserves is that correct so that's making um that will be a budget amendment two we'll take from our fund balance yes so for the motion we should a motion to, i make a motion to uh accept the approval transfer request for budget amendment number one for <coughs> fy 23 fiscal impact dollar amount is zero dollars budget source unrestricted funds second a motion second all those in favor say aye aye ayes have it thank you Thank you. The next one we bring before you, budget amendment number two. This is since the adoption of our FY23 restricted budget, the negotiated agreements have been settled. The fiscal impact is a little under $1.4 million. This will be allocated out of fund balance if approved tonight. And you can see in the different categories where it's allocated to. Uh, Jane, why wasn't budget source Instead of saying unrestricted funds, why didn't we? You know, I think to probably be clear, we should say fund balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, thank you. Amend that. So can I make the motion, Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. to approve the transfer request with budget amendment number two for the FY23 fiscal impact dollar amount of $1,398,600. Uh, budget source, fund balance. Second. Okay. Thank a you. motion second. Any further discussion? All of you say aye. Aye. Uh, ayes have it. Thank you. Our third budget request, our transfer, I'm sorry, request. The last one we bring before you this evening is a transfer request for um, amendment number three as listed here. I'm not sure if you want me to detail it out or not, if there's any specific questions. But we're just, no fiscal impact allocating from some savings and other categories to meet the needs of the district and administration. There is contracted services and leave payouts that we have to account for. In mid-level, it is going to be a leave payout and a principal's office supply account. An instructional other, it's for three kilos, a replacement of some band uniforms, some Spanish resources, and a washer at Ken Island High School. And in the health services one, it's going to be a health bed at Mattapique Elementary School, as well as some life kits that are mandatory from the state in that category. In category, the transportation, as you know, fuel costs are 
going up and up. So we're going to ask for an initial increase and bump to the transportation of 350,000. And then the last one, maintenance, it's going, we're going to ask for 300,000 because the cost of everything's going up, the mandates that are coming down that we have to uh, accommodate for. And, and this is really early in our year because we start July the 1st. Um, we will get an update because it just scares me when I when I see what the inflation costs are mm -hmm. and everything going on that it, it, it's going to be tricky. I mean, it, it concerns it, me. It is. It and is. I, Across and I'll the talk board. to Mr. Mr. Pender. What monthly is our fuel cost above? Well, I mean, because diesel fuel is what five seventy, five eighty now. Um, <clears throat> depending on where you get it, between about five eighty and six dollars. So that's a monthly. I mean, more. I mean, and we pay. It's mileage over so much. That's correct. It's one penny for every five cents over um, three dollars. And we run a million four miles a year or something. Yep. Yes, sir. And we go off of the fifteenth of each month. We do the uh, the Baltimore um, AAA reading. Um, when we first started back in August, we were down around four ninety five. Mm -hmm. And as you've probably watched on the news and seen, it's skyrocketed. And some of them are, you know, saying there's going to be a shortage um, in the southeast and mid Atlantic for diesel. Um, so we have seen those prices rise dramatically. I mean, how much higher than six dollars? I don't know, but. But I mean, this is a, a, a when you take this monthly chart, it's a concern, and we got, and we're just in, in uh, November. Luckily, with our propane and our heating oil, we're locked in. Locked on in. Those costs. Um, propane came in at a really good price. Heating oil was a little bit higher than we anticipated, but um, it, they're, it's just going up. Uh, majority of our over-the-road buses, not sp uh, special buses, are contractors. For our, yes, our regular runs are contracted drivers. Do we have a, a maybe a plan that Onondaga County has fuel depots. If something happened where fuel just wasn't obtainable, that I mean, we still have to run buses. Kids still have to come to school. Students still have to come to school. Was there any way to look into if the, I mean, I, and they probably are going to have the same problem we, we are. But we've had emails and conversations back and forth with with the county just to make sure that they're able to maintain because um, they're also worried about you know they're providing the diesel for their county uh, maintenance mm -hmm. trucks, their uh, county roads, sheriff's department is all coming out of one fuel depot. Mm -hmm. So I mean there are concerns with that also. Yeah. And then some of them are trying to you know use up the tank they have now because they're anticipating getting it filled at a lower rate compared to you know another month or two down the road. Um, at, at some point, it's got to level off. I mean, it, it's just. But I, I just know. When is when? You know. We hope. We hope. But the one problem I also see, and I don't know what the county's reserves are. Most tanks are ten thousand. If you bring in seven, which is a transport load, That's you're great. down pretty low. You know, you're around two thousand gallons before we can even start to refill. Yep. So it's it's a uh, you know I mean just you, you hit the, you know two thousand gallons. I'm not sure we can burn that in no time. Now with our heating oil, we pull in about seventy five hundred gallons. Um, transport to fill up for various schools at one point um, you know our propane tanks at our high schools they're 18,000 gallon tanks it's a tremendous amount of propane that we go through well Jane I'm our doctor I'm sorry doctor Miss Towers you'll be on us constantly with good news I hope in the future uh, I hope so I hope so Okay, I have uh, Mr. Smith, may I make a motion to <coughs> accept the transfer request for budget amendment number three for FY23, fiscal impact dollar amount of zero dollars, budget source unrestricted funds. Second. A motion is second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. As we're going along, um, the future meetings, we we'll have our next regular scheduled meeting, uh, December the 7th will be our next regular meeting and our work session will be on the 14th. Does anybody, other members, have anything they'd like to bring before the Happy board? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> the, motion to the motion to adjourn and resume uh, closed session. So move. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Aye